last week we talked about prote uh, post-translational protein modifications. We will continue on that subject with uh, called translational protein translocation. It is type of protein modification and it is also the part of protein modification. When the, uh, we, will, we saw some uh, part of it last week, we talked about uh, some part of it last week, uh, but I want to remind when the signal sequence is produced during the translation process in the ribosome, translation pauses. A protein called signal recognition particle comes and binds to signal sequence. Then the ribosome, mRNA, and partially produced amino acid chain come to endoplasmic reticulum together and settles on rough endoplasmic reticulum, but it doesn't settle anywhere random. It settles on available translocation protein. It is a gated channel protein, but it is not that simple. The signal recognition particle has to bind to signal recognition particle receptor, and the ribosome has to bind to ribosome receptor. Here we are talking about uh, one ribosome, but many ribosomes are working in this process together, mashallah. Yes, and normally there are many ribosomes in mRNA at the same time. And proteins transported to the Golgi apparatus, endosomes, lysosomes, and cell surface, and all the of them must first enter yes. the ER. Yes, and after the receptor binding process is done, translocon opens its gate and it start, start its job. The post-translation process starts again and amino acid chains start to be synthesized into endoplasmic reticulum lumen through the translocon protein. Then the signal peptidized protein comes. It cleaves the signal sequence from the right spot, uh, right spot and after it cleaves, it goes away. This is very important. It cleaves uh, the signal sequence. Mm -hmm. If it uh, cleaves one more amino acid, that protein will be useless. If it cleaves uh, one uh, more, uh, sorry, one less uh, amino acid, it will be useless again. It has to cleave from the uh, right atom, yes. not before, not after. This That's is very important. Perfect. And uh, yes, and uh, the thing doing this job is also a protein. Yes. After the synthesis, which is done into the uh, endoplasmic reticulum lumen, protein is folded and glycosylated. When the job of transloca uh, translocation protein is done, a plug comes and closes the lower end of the channel. Also, this plug is a protein. We talked about the protein which is translated to endoplasmic reticulum lumen through the translocon protein. But there is another one, another type. It is transmembrane protein, uh, which works with the endoplasmic, uh, works in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. The signal sequence that we mentioned is N-terminal signal sequence. It initiates the translocation. For example, we, uh, for uh, the example we saw minutes ago, but for the transmembranes, it is a bit different here. When the translation continues for a transmembrane protein on rough endoplasmic reticulum, another signal sequence is formed. It is called stop transfer sequence. And uh, stop, uh, stop transfer sequence, sequence is released laterally from the translocation channel and drifts into the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, it is inserted in the protein with the defined orientation and in some mem uh, transmembrane proteins an internal signal sequence is used to start the transfer. When the translation continues, stop transfer sequence is formed again, then two sequences stay on the protein chain and it is released into the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. In complex multi-pass proteins, additional start and stop sequences are formed. Pro uh, production subsequently continues this way, so multi-pass membrane proteins are stitched into the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum, and this process resembles a sewing machine. Actually, this mechanism I talked about as a summary is not fully understood yet by the scientists. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they cannot understand the full process yet. And uh, this process is so complex, there is a, a perfect flawless order, flawless system here, and there isn't any mistake. And all these processes are done by the unconscious molecules, uh, proteins. And as I said, these proteins are unconscious, but doing this. So this is the wisdom and the conscience of Allah, because a molecule, unconscious molecule, cannot do this, cannot plan this, uh, th because this is very complex, and still we, still scientists cannot understand the mechanism, still uh, uh, they didn't solve the uh, problems of it. Mm -hmm. Actually, not the problems, the processes. Yes. yes. Uh, and uh, as we saw on the uh, saw on the video, uh, the protein is stitched in the membrane 
of the endoplasmic reticulum. Mm -hmm. And uh, membrane is actually liquid. A polypeptide chain is stitched in the liquid, but this liquid doesn't fall apart. Nothing uh, happens as a mistake. It is all perfect and uh, perfectly working. And when the transfer proteins are produced for uh, endoplasmic reticulum, uh, are not produced for the endoplasmic reticulum, uh, in endoplasmic reticulum, they have to be transferred. And next, next week we talk about uh, the Golgi apparatus and the protein trafficking, inshallah. Inshallah. inshallah.